Hi, this is a 3D character creator tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you how to create a video game character mesh in less than five minutes in DAS Studio 4.6. So, first thing you do is open DAS Studio, obviously. Um, load your figure, whatever you want. It can be Michael 6, Victoria 6, or Genesis 2 characters, any 3D character you like add whatever morph packs you want like the HD long time dead set use base shapes or mix different shapes together um, which is what Genesis 2 technology allows you to do it's very powerful next thing you want to do is adjust material parameters if applicable so you can change textures colors of your clothing or whatever you want there's a lot of different uh, parameters uh, that are adjustable um, but this can get complicated so we'll get into this in later tutorials but you can completely customize the look of your character as well the next thing you want to do is adjust the shape parameters to whatever you want create a fat zombie in this case or an average one or you know any size or shape you want, any kind of crazy fantasy you have can be um, you know, created with just uh, adjusting a few morph dials, which is pretty amazing because you know that's the power of the system. It allows you to create your own customized characters without any modeling skills whatsoever, and it's fast. So the next thing I would do is add clothes, shoes, perhaps props like helmets, backpacks, anything except probably guns because most game engines will add guns to your mesh once you migrate it into the engine. So the point is the point is to have the ability to create the most original and project specific characters and create it fast. Um, like if you're creating game characters for CryEngine 3, um, it uses a body part or attachment system, which means you can use the same mesh to export separate clothing items or body props into the engine to diversify your characters. So the next thing you want to do is open Decimator. Um, Decimator is a plugin that reduces the polygon count in the figure so that it becomes a low poly version that will be acceptable for 3D game engines. So make sure the base character is selected in your scene. Decimate each item separately, like, you know, like uh, the figure, each clothing item, uh, that kind of a thing. Um, then go to the Windows menu column at the top, click on it, go to the panes tabs, go to the decimator tool and click on it. When the decimator window comes up, pick prepare to decimate. The plugin then um, basically will calculate uh, the total amount of polygons the model has and a model like this one is way too much for a game engine. So, go to the resolution polygon slider and slide it to the left. When the tool, um, or when the polygon count is around 4000, press done and the character will be game engine ready. That's how simple it is.
The next thing you might want to do is pose your character depending on what the game engine requires. Some game engines require a T-pose like this or they want a more natural stance of the arms so you can adjust that here very quickly. You know you want to put the arms at the character's side basically. Uh, if you are creating a character that uses if you if you are creating a character that uses its own rig, uh, like you know skeleton, IK chain, etc., uh, this might be the time you want to animate the character for all the different animations you want. Um, in this case, I won't be doing that. So, the next part would be to export the character into the FBX format for 3D Max, for example, because that's where you would skin the mesh onto um, the. Uh, game engine standard rig uh, which is the easiest thing to do so you would just delete the uh, rig that comes with the DAS uh, program and take the mesh and just skin it to the game engine rig and there's a different or sorry there's a different set of things you can uh, and if you look on this pane here you can see that there are different uh, things that you can export, like uh, obviously the figure, morphs, animations. Uh, you probably want your textures to be exported into a separate folder. You might want to merge the textures as well. And uh, for some game engines, you might want the clothing and all the props that are attached to your character to be uh, basically integrated into the mesh that won't be the case for CryEngine because you want to be able to create m attachments for your base character and be able to customize your character within the engine. Anyway, so you export it FBX and import it into Max through the FBX format or uh, whatever your game engine requires. Um, that's basically it. I'll get into skinning characters in 3D programs later. Thanks.